hello everyone welcome to the laravel tips and tricks so today video is about pagination tricks so we are going to discuss the laravel 9 pagination features and then we are going to display the pagination like uh, this like we are doing in the data table so we are receiving the entries like we have one and then here we are showing that how many entries are exist on this same page and then we are going to display the total entries and then we are displaying the previous next button so how we can do this in the laravel so because this is a js plugin so how we can do this in the laravel so i am creating a mail component and here i want to show the one and then i want to display the total number of pagination uh, total number of records on the page and then i want to display the total number and then and then here i need the pagination so how how i can do this in the laravel so first uh, let's uh, get start with the laravel 9 new feature so laravel in the laravel 9 i'm in the laravel 9 documentation so in the laravel 9 there is two methods added so you can use a bootstrap uh, five if you want to use a bootstrap five so you can call this in your service provider so let me show you in the service provider so this exists in the provider app service provider so here in the boot method you can use this uh, these methods so there are methods available so you can use this uh, bootstrap and then bootstrap five four three and these methods are available so it means that you can simply if you use bootstrap 4 and let me go to the um, uh, views so these are the pagination views so if you don't know how to publish them so you can run the command php artisan vendor publish then it will show the numbers and then you can uh, select the number and uh, paginate and uh, publish these uh, paginations views okay so here we are using this uh, bootstrap 4 so if i use this bootstrap uh, 5 so then it will it will use this uh, bootstrap 5 this blade so if i use uh, this bootstrap 4 then it will use this bootstrap 4 okay so this is totally depend upon which method you are using so let me go to the mail controller where i am uh, creating this pagination so if you are using paginate and uh, you call this bootstrap uh, 5 or 4 so it will execute uh, this one this one bootstrap 4 and bootstrap 5 so if you uh, can call this simple paginate so then it will call this one so let me go here bootstrap 5 so then it will call this simple 4 and 5 uh, according to which version you are using the bootstrap 4 right so let's uh, go to the documentation down and here there are helper methods so you can uh, check the first uh, uh, first item that uh, you mean that one or ten and then you can also get the last item number you can also get the total count uh not this one it's this one so you can also get the total count so let me go to the project and uh, here i'm implementing this in my project so how i can get this so let me open this uh, blade for you so here i'm rendering this showing one to six and this to hundred so i want to display it dynamically when i uh, change this so it's not going to affect this one so i want to make this dynamics so how can i do this so let's go here and in the documentation there are helper method which is uh, first item so i can grab the first item so it will return as an integer value so let's go here and in the one i'm going to replace with this one mustachi sign and then i'm going to add this paginator so this paginator is a collection of your mail so in my case it's a mail so that's why i'm naming this mail so let me go to the mail controller and uh, i'm grabbing the mails and i'm passing this to a view so this mail i'm using this mail here right so let me close this out i'm using this uh, mail here right so i'm using the make sure that you are using the collection okay and then i'm using this uh, call this first method so it will return the one so let's uh, get refresh and yes it's running one so now i want to get the total entries on the page three four six uh, three four or five there are five entries so i want to display the entries uh, calculate dynamic dynamically okay so here i want to display the dynamics so how can i do this so let's go here in the documentation there is a last item right so you can go here and uh, here you can get this uh, in the six okay so you can call this uh, email and then you can call this last item so it will return the last uh, item on 
the specific page not the whole last item it will return this page last item okay give it a refresh and it says that uh, model lost item okay let me go back and check that why it's uh, oh i forgot to add this mails i added this mail so remember you need to pass the collection okay it's reloading and yes now it's returning five so i added the bracket uh, extra okay so now it's returning the five so it means that uh, i'm getting the page number right so if i go here and add this so uh, i'm going to add this 15 for demonstration purposes so let's get refresh so it will get the 15 here so let's take eye on it and yes now it's returning so it means that now i'm able to get the total number of record on the on this web page so how i can do this this one like uh, uh, total entries exist in the uh, exist in the database so i'm making this five and let's go here and in the 200 i'm going to get the total entries so how i can do this so here there is a total uh, total helper so you can call this uh, total and then this will return all of the uh, total record oops uh, why i'm doing the mistake it's a total and i think i i again put this mail instead instead of mails okay so let's get refresh so now it's going to work wait for a moment and yes now it's working and it's displaying us that 31 records added in the uh, exist in the database so let me open the database and show it to you that uh, there are 31 records and uh, let's uh, get refresh mails and uh, wait for a moment and there are 48 records but i'm just uh, uh, looping through uh, i'm just uh, looping through only the login user uh, login user mail that's why it's printing the 31 so you can check this uh, from by die dumping here so in the mail controller so i'm not going to do this because i'm leaving this here okay so you can also uh, call this simple paginate like uh, you can also you need to replace with this uh, paginate with the simple paginate and then here you need to specify uh, how much uh, numbers you want to print out and then here this total is not available on this on this simple paginate so let me remove this one and then i'm going to refresh it's going to display as previous next button so give it a refresh and yes it's now displaying as previous next button and there are showing one to five right so i hope you get an idea so let me go to the documentation here there are other helpers so you can display the previous page url or you can also display the last page if uh, you want to uh, there are a lot of uh, paginations and user want to directly hit on the last page so you can add the option here that user can instantly click on the last button and then he is going to the last page of pagination so that's it for this video so hope you like this video so subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for more upcoming updates so thank you bye bye